Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And for those of you who are new here, hi, my name is Heidi. I moved to Japan in 2019, first as a language student, and I eventually found the job, and now I live here. I'm 30 years old, and it's been such a ride documenting my life in Japan, and I hope that you gain some value or entertainment from watching my weekly vlogs. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. I asked you guys some questions on Instagram and YouTube, and a few of you guys sent in some questions. So without further ado, Let's get into it. First question, how long did you jog before you noticed any changes in your weight? So earlier this year, I started running just because a lot of my friends were in it too. Honestly, I haven't noticed any changes in my weight, but what I have noticed is how fast I've gotten. So I started off with maybe eight minutes and 30 seconds per kilometer. And now if I try really, really hard, I can do six minutes and 30 seconds. So I feel like that has been such a big, you know, ego boost, confidence boost, because I just kept showing up. And I feel like running has gotten me through some very difficult things that I went through at the beginning of the year, which would explain my kind of erratic posting schedule. Erratic for me, because I've normally committed to like a weekly posting schedule. Um, a lot of you older subscribers would know that, but um, yeah, I don't normally post once every two weeks. I normally try to post every week, but running has really helped with my mindset and my mood. Um, so no, nothing physical, but definitely mental and confidence wise. I think it did me a world of good. What are you looking forward to in the upcoming week? So a week from now, I will actually be in another country with Shogo. It's going to be his first time. And I'm so excited to bring him around because I've been to that country maybe twice before. So it's going to be really exciting. Expect travel vlogs because there will be a lot. Next, do you still see yourself living in Japan in the next 10 years? Yes, I do. I really like my life here. I feel like it's really safe and I love that I get to do what I want to do when I want to do it and I don't have to wait for permission or I don't have to think about the traffic. I just do what I want to do. If I want to go jogging in the morning, I can do that. And if I want to eat out, it doesn't have to be so expensive. So I feel like my life is very comfortable here. So ten, another 10 years is totally fine by me and hopefully by then I have PR. <laughs> What do you do and how are you able to work in Japan? So currently, I work as a staff writer or content creator for a media company in Japan that services foreigners moving to Japan or living in Japan. So I feel like it's very up my alley um, as somebody who did just that. And I was able to work in Japan because right before my student visa expired, I was able to find an employer who was willing to sponsor me and fix all my paperwork with the POEA and all of that jazz. So from there, it was easy to kind of job hunt after I finished my stint at that English school. Next, what's it like growing up with two sisters? I have two brothers and sometimes I wish they were sisters. Honestly, I feel like I I really love having two sisters. I love being the eldest out of three sisters. There are times where I have problems and I share it with them. They're able to give me like a very fresh perspective, something I haven't thought about. I really like that we can speak with each other openly and we just hang out with each other like friends. I really consider my sisters as definitely part of my inner circle. I have an older brother too. Um, he hasn't made an appearance because he hasn't come to Japan and he hasn't been in the Philippines for a really long time. So yeah, I just wanted you guys to know that. I have an older brother and I think the perks of having an older brother is they introduce you to so many cool things. Like he introduced me to Pokemon and anime and you know, Japan in general. So yeah, I remember on my fourth, I was 10 years old, grade 4. For my birthday, he got my grandparents to gift me an Adidas Japan jacket. I, I think it was the Olympics or something like that, and it was like a special edition Adidas jacket. And I remember feeling really proud that I wore it to school, and looking back, I was like low-key manifesting my life here, so that was really insane, I think. And thanks to him, I've ended up here in a very, very indirect way. But yeah, I love having sisters. It's really fun. It can get really messy sometimes, but I think that just makes the relationship stronger, honestly. Who doesn't have disagreements? I feel like disagreements and talking through it really shows how you can mature and change and also develop a more mature relationship. So yeah, 
I love having two sisters. Next, where do you see yourself five years from now? Similar to the previous question, but hopefully still living in Japan, doing more content creation for myself and traveling more of Japan. I really want to visit all the prefectures in Japan. So far, I think I've done a pretty good job, but I am a Virgo moon, so I really do want to visit and see all the parts of Japan that I have yet to see. And of course, bring you guys along with me because I want to document that. What advice or motivation can you give those who'd want to start or continue learning Japanese? I think for me, it's really to find a way to integrate Japanese into your daily life. Like, I used to think of Japanese as a subject, so it would feel kind of daunting. But the sooner I started to see it as part of my life, like, I have YouTubers now who are... I watch YouTubers now who are Japanese YouTubers and they're lifestyle YouTubers. I love watching their content because not only is it interesting because they live in Tokyo and I live in Tokyo and they show such a different side to it, but also I can, like, understand what they're saying i can copy what they say to make my japanese sound more conversational and less like a textbook so it's really finding a hobby or something you like to do and integrating japanese into that so it doesn't feel so daunting or boring next what are your tips for people moving to japan my tips are to learn how to be very independent in japan a lot of people here are very okay with being by themselves and sometimes scheduling with friends can be a bit tricky because everyone's just so busy all the time. For the first year, first few months of my life in Japan, I, if I wasn't okay with being alone, I think I would have given up and just gone home. But you just have to have that really strong resolve. You have to know your why of moving here. Um, for me, it was really just to find a better life for myself and to really challenge myself to grow in an environment I couldn't get back in Manila. And it wasn't easy. It was definitely difficult. There were a lot of times where I just like cried, but not once did I think about going home because I've already made a decision to stay. So, What's your visa processing renewal like? Is it really that tedious and scary? No, I don't think so. I think the immigration office website has a very detailed list of the documents that you need. If you have any questions, you can go to the immigration office or call the immigration office itself. They have a lot of like hotlines that are in English or Tagalog or whatever language you speak. So it really makes the process less daunting. It's better to go there and ask and submit your documents because sometimes they'll just send you a postcard with like what you need to mail to them. And the times that that happened to me, it they're not fine so it's not daunting just do your research and be prepared don't forget like just ask questions it's fine i think they're so used to that that's what they're there for how do you manage your finances budget breakdown in japan so when i get my salary the first thing i do is set money aside for myself for my emergency fund and i also set money aside for my family because i do send them money home every month through western union not sponsored i literally just do that and then from there I pay off everything else that I need to pay off and then the money that gets left behind is just my fun money which isn't a lot but it's enough for me to get by and like see my friends and get one nice thing that I really want so that's how I budget basically next from Tony my friend who I went to Bangkok with what's it like being married to a sassy man it's never boring Shogo is very sassy he always humbles me and I humble him I think it's really fun because Aside from being my husband, he's really just my best friend and we totally get each other. We banter all the time to the point that people think we're fighting, but that's really just us and how we show affection for one another. And it's really nice that we can both dish it and take it at the same time. So yeah, it's just really fun. <laughs> Next, what are some um, other questions? Okay, I think I got some questions on YouTube. Let me just check that. Okay, how old slash young do you feel? Okay, so I just turned 30 this year, and in terms of how old Sasha Young I feel, I think I definitely don't feel like I'm 30. I don't really know what that means, but in my head, I'm still like in my mid 20s. Basically, my interests are still my interests from forever ago since I was a child. Like, I still love watching anime, I still love going thrifting. That's not something that's ever changed. I have rediscovered my love for books because. I think when I was a kid, I had I definitely had more time to read. It's gotten to a point where it's not so much about how old I am, but it's about how long I want to live. So I try to do a lot of things that increase my chances at longevity, like really staying active, eating better food. Of course, I eat junk food and stuff, but um, I feel very, very young. And I feel like it's really also a mindset thing. So yeah, I hope that answers your question. 
like seriously i just miss talking to you guys i know that maybe a sit down talk video is not everyone's cup of tea but i really enjoy it because i can get really chatty when we visit the philippines again community meet and greet please okay so i'm going to visit the philippines for golden week but it's really just to spend time with my family and my grandmother so I don't even know if I'm gonna go out, honestly. Shogo does want to try jogging around UP, but I hear that it's very hot from my sister, so I don't know if we're gonna get around to doing that. I would just love to catch up with my Lola, catch up with my sisters, eat some good grab delivery food, and just chill. But if I were to have a community meet and greet, let me know, guys, because I'm scared. Like, I'm one of those people that I'm scared I'm gonna have one and then no one's gonna come. That's just gonna make me kind of sad. Also, I would want to do something with you guys, like, not just a meet and greet, but, I don't know, maybe a run club or a nice brunch or something. I think that'd be so much fun. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy every time, like, I go to Manila, it seems that I run into a subscriber. And it just, it makes my day when you guys say hi. Yeah. So, yeah, those are all the questions. Thank you guys so much for watching and sending them in again i feel like it's been a while since i've talked to you and i just want to thank you guys for 17,000 subscribers like that's huge i hope that you guys enjoyed this video and got to know me a little bit more and feel free to send me as many messages as you'd like i'm more active on instagram than i am on youtube so yeah i'll see you guys in the next one bye